really know what many people do the day before they leave for a nine month trip, but it's probably not driving things like this. We're packing up to leave. Oh, where to begin? What is all this crap? No, the black ones are so bad. Apprehension is high. I just fainted in Walgreens. Two, three. So we'll see you in Singapore. Wait, 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 wait. We should probably kick off episode one by actually introducing ourselves. But before we do that, cue that title card. I'm Allison. I'm Tim. But everyone calls him Deemer. Everybody still calls her Finny, even though she is a Deemer now. I'm from Northern Illinois. Not like Chicago, like cornfields. I'm from Detroit. I'm from the, the suburbs of Detroit. We just finished up nine months of travel. We're going in our 10th month. We're posted up here in Bali and we're starting to put these episodes out. Tripped covers like every minute of us traveling, except for sleeping. It covers the times where Allison's crying because she got bit by a bee while she was driving a motorcycle. Hmm, well. I capture every time Tim is lost and won't believe me when I tell him directions. I absolutely never get lost. During our trip, we saw things that were so beautiful, they belonged on Instagram. Other days, we saw nothing because it was raining and it wouldn't quit raining. Looking at you, New Zealand. We stayed in some epic locations while we traveled. Also, airports. Before all of this happened though and you took off on this trip, we were fully functioning adults. We weren't hippies, we're not vagabonds, we're not filthy backpackers. Oh nine, when there were literally no jobs, I found a job working at Ann Taylor Loft in the mall. I was a plumber for a long time. Wedding dress model. Chemist. Grad school. Buyer at a catalog for high fashion dog accessories. Met Tim. Lunches with Finny. So boring I won't even bring it up. Tim proposed. Big ass wedding. <laughs> then we started to become real adults. Like I was a human resources manager. Events for Bud Light. Big tech company. And then we were like, we should quit our jobs and travel the world. It's 1.17 in the morning. I can't sleep because we are leaving on Sunday, which is pretty crazy. It's gonna be weird, like talking into the camera and narrating everything that's going on. So I guess this is good practice as any. So with this whole trip, it's not like we just packed our bags and ran away from home. There was two years of saving involved. There was a lot of planning and prep. Really just meant a lot of phone calls. I appreciate your help. That's probably not a call that you get every day. This is hard. This is hard. This is an awesome itinerary. I, but this is like our itinerary for two months. Two months. Right. Oh, the black ones are so bad. Are they? The brown ones don't look that bad with the shorts. Will it do I do not put Well, this is ridiculous. I just fainted in Walgreens because I got four vaccination shots. Just for a couple seconds I looked down, then my eyes closed and I was unresponsive. But it felt like I was like asleep for 30 minutes and I like lifted up my head and looked at her and I like felt so rude that I fell asleep like with her but I didn't know where I was. But then we had to actually get ready to go. We had to pack up all of our stuff Say goodbye to Chicago and our Chicago apartment. What's this for? We're packing up to leave. Oh, yeah. And it's so refreshing because things like this. Everyone has things like this. What, what is all this crap? This is something very special. Ooh. We're gonna drink this on our last night and we're gonna be so happy. Ready? They're going on their honeymoon. Yay! What did you do today? Today we had to go do all of our favorite Chicago things because we're leaving Chicago in seven days. Okay, here's our entire room. I don't really know what many people do the day before they leave for a nine month trip, but it's probably not driving things like this to get it out of the way so that we can park this in there. That's what we're doing right now and then say goodbye to important things like all of our incredible friends there. Yeah. 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 The 
great thing about this trip, not a lot of structure around it. We just knew that on August 31st, we were gonna take off and start heading east. We're heading to Germany for Oktoberfest. We had a cousin to go visit in Poland. Okay. <laughs> Friends in the Philippines in November. Yes. Parents in Singapore in January. And we figured that the money would carry us anywhere from maybe like six months to one year, but had no idea what to expect. Apprehension is high. Uh, a, a little weird. A little weird. A little weird. <laughs> you got the gun? Yes. <laughs> so we'll see you in Singapore. Woo -woo. In January. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Acting. Alright. Okay, we're doing it. Uh, Tim, what's going on? Starting, starting the first funny times waiting. <laughs> We're out of the car. Our first stop was Nuremberg, Germany, which was super random, but Everywhere around Munich for Oktoberfest is incredibly expensive, and we were using that as a home base to explore southern Germany. But you'll really you'll see how well all of that goes. You see me? I'm very sleepy. Ready, ready to get to our maybe drink a cup of bleach too. I feel gross. <laughs> Equipment, which looks pretty cool. Do you want to see it? Absolutely. Well, come on! Here's the bedroom. But look up there at the lights. Okay, I'm just gonna touch. Wait, show down here. What's this? I'm gonna touch it and oh, there it is. But we can also wait. Oh, I'm not very good at it. Comes with the meat slicer. We have a little stint in the cab. These euros did not come without a cost. The cab driver did not speak any. English, not that he should. And I didn't know how to say any words except for, I'm sorry. So I just waved an American dollar and a credit card. <laughs> it was nine, nine. <laughs> and now our ATM card doesn't work. Good thing I had that other ATM card from a different bank. And now I guess we just go get some groceries. Let's get cleaned up and go. Okay, well we need to eat too. <laughs> Look how touristed we are right now. Yeah. Nobody else is wearing bright orange at all. Nobody. Nobody. Look at this backpack. Please rob me. Please come steal from me. But they won't. It's nice here. It's nice. Hello. Okay. See, here's the thing. Literally nobody speaks English. Which is fine. That's the genuine experience we would be looking for. But that has never been my experience traveling anywhere else. We were lied to. We, first of all, Are the you first way thing. Too close on that, by the way? I'm pretty close. You're way too close. Okay, first of all, the first thing everyone tells you is don't worry, everyone speaks English. We've met one person that could point us in the direction of the bathroom. And the other thing is that in all my traveling, I've been able to speak the language because I've only been to Spanish speaking countries and I try to I want to so bad but everyone just reverts to English because then they want to practice English and we really need to get some food. Quick little interview Tim. Um, my two years of high school German have been very applicable here. I've been able to integrate myself into society really easily. Um, Allison's struggling with the language a bit. But I think you're embellishing a bit. A bit. just a bit. A bit. Uh, <laughs> 20 whole minutes later, the morale of the group is low. We still have not eaten. We've gone now nearly two hours without eating at the house. I don't know what's going to happen. We walked like three minutes. We walked like two kilometers. You don't know that. You don't even know what two kilometers feels like. It's roughly a mile. What are your initial thoughts on the apartment? We just live in Germany now. Oh. 
all the way down to Volksfest, which is a fair that we're excited to go to. And we're renting bikes, and then we have to get on the S-Bahn, and then we have to walk. Our ATM card wasn't working. We haven't met anybody to speak, that speaks English. And since we don't have internet connection when we leave the apartment, we're trying to be as prepared as possible. Good luck to us. Bye. This is Allison. She's traveling right now. This is what happens when you can't figure out how to use the, the local subway and instead you deal with riding bicycles everywhere. Look at her know all that German. All those months of studying. I just want to go to a Dokumentation Zentrum Buchendeist. Okay, there. Hey! We're doing it! We have bikes and we're going the right way. Woo! Woo! This whole thing is not necessarily by choice. This is. Lack of knowledge to ride the train. We're not doing this for health or anything. I'm gonna eat so much fair food, I'm gonna buy. Basically, we're getting drunk and riding carnival rides in the shadow of a Nazi monument. He ordered it much better. That's Germany, though. But later, we're gonna go there and appreciate what happened. There. Appreciate history. Just did a 30 minute bike ride down here to the southern side of Nuremberg. Um, really wanted to see the Zeppelin grounds. We haven't come out here yet. Just a relic from a terrible time, but I mean, strange to know how to feel because people are running out here, enjoying the sun, doing stretches, doing steer runs on it. Uh, people over there playing like street hockey. Like, people are using this area. <laughs> Gladly not what it was originally designed for, but it's just strange. It's everyday life here, and it's something that would be, well, it's just something we don't have at home. But these are Nazi ruins. Like, I don't know if it's right to call them ruins. That's what they are. You have Roman ruins. These are relics of a bygone era. The only experience I've had with these ever is fighting around them in, like, Wolfenstein. So. It, it's incredibly surreal to be stomping around here. Uh, that is just a soccer and football field for a local school. Um, there's a stadium in the background, but I mean, those, look how overgrown it is. It's like Aztec ruins, basically. So, 
Just really glad I came out here. This is awesome to see. Though the marks of World War II are prevalent around the city, we found ourselves on our third day in Nuremberg going farther back in time on the German tour of the medieval dungeon. Our entire tour is just trapped in there, the torture chamber. And can I just say, it's scarier that this whole tour is in German. <laughs> I think that's okay to say. I mean, look at this. Seriously, can this be more claustrophobic? It was about. I'm right here, too. <laughs> it was like $3 to come down here, and now we know why. This is great. It's not enough. They just leave you down here. That's the experience. Something a little bit lighter while we're on tour, we're gonna go look at the stocks. We're gonna chain up three people. Oh. And they all poop in one hole. That's nice. That's nice. Hey, I found the hole where everybody poops. It's back there. Oh, that's nice. This could not have been fun. I can't you would at least have somebody to talk to, though. <laughs> The tour is so fast, you can't even look at anything. Which, granted, you probably don't want to be stuck in here, but we're like racing through the dungeons, you can't even see it. We relate to the next room. Oh my. Oh, well, we're back where we started. Okay, we we need a shady bench and an really? uber Over debrief here. of what just happened. We raced through the dungeons and then sat in torture chambers for seven minute chunks at a time. It was great. I felt tortured in there. I felt scared. Yeah, you could not do that if you were claustrophobic because I would not consider myself claustrophobic, but that first room I was like, all 20 of these people are going yeah, that was tough. to sit in here. And then it was like, I can't imagine doing that on a hot day. Like it's cool outside. I mean, I have three shirts on and a scarf and like it was hot down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're outside again. I was ready for, if it was a 20 minute tour, I would have been like, that's fine. Like half an hour is as long as you want to be down there. I didn't get enough time to like see it. And then it was like too long when we were just standing there. Yeah. Granted, we didn't know what he was saying, but still it was like, the, everyone else was like edgy. And then, even in German, it wasn't like an entertaining... Like, no one cracked a smile the entire time. Well, it was, they're it, talking about tort. You can't be like, oh, and this is super painful. No, but but I'm sure there was some like awe-inspiring things. Like, oh, like, oh, ooh. Don't yeah. you think? Like, uh, some reaction. He clearly wanted everybody to be out of there as soon as possible. Yeah. That's okay. Oh my god. I have to put my arm down now. Bye. We originally flew to Germany for Oktoberfest, but that was still three weeks away. So jet lagged at 4 a.m. and a desire to find warmer weather, it looked like only an 11 hour drive to Croatia. So road trip. We got such an early start, we figured we planned to stop at the touristy Lake Bled in Slovenia as a good halfway point to walk around and spend the night. Oh, we got a full tank of gas. We got like three hours of sleep, and we're going to Lake Blood, probably, in Slovak. <laughs> yeah. Power up. What's up? What's wrong? I'm gonna run. Here, give me the keys. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna... Because actually Google Maps lets you keep... Never mind. Right. I'll be right back. Bye, baby. We're not leaving yet. We'll see you on the road. Yes, when the shepherds are in Germany, are they still German shepherds? It's funny. Wow, KFC! Jesus Christ! Today's episode brought to you by Fruit Lies.
mango maracuja plus vitamin BCE. A little bit like a Capri Sun. If you look straight ahead, you will see our destination is Fjord and Verstaff half. How could you be Verstaff than Fjord? You have to pay to uh, tinkle winkle or make boom boom here. Here's my voucher. Make boom boom. Poop poop. Wait, this isn't true. You paid 70 cents. Yeah, there was a 20 cent deposit. <laughs> you get it? We have now spent five American dollars on going to the bathroom. This, this is the Autobahn. People over there are going 120 miles an hour. This lane's going like 70 miles an hour. And that lane, people are entering the freeway coming in at like 25 miles an hour. So, so basically driving through Chicago. Yeah, it's kind of like we're in like Glenview with some castles. This episode brought to you by Power Up. Power Up, what gets you through jet lag and the Autobahn. Well, this is our nap spot. We both need one. Sleep. Tim can't sleep here. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go look at this lake first. This is Lake Lakey. <laughs> it's very historic. We stopped off in uh, Dusseldorf to get some sleep. Or not Dusseldorf, it doesn't matter. That's Northern Germany. Really, we can say whatever we want to and nobody can say anything. Shit, I mean, we might be in Wisconsin. <laughs> so, instead of taking a nap, we're going on a hike through this nature trail. To wake to go up. Check out a lake. Oh. And then, this is probably not even recording. I did a whole monologue earlier there and I didn't record. Probably because I didn't hit the record button. I don't know where we're going. Probably not there. We were obviously in rough shape. The drive was also taking way longer than expected, so with Salzburg right across the border, we decided to cut our drive short and cancel our hotel in Lake Bled. Just try to find one in Salzburg. This is what it's like being in Austria. <laughs> this is Austria. You cross the border and you don't even know. And then you just drive around in circles a lot. We have no internet, zero brain power, and even less patience for the road and, at this point, each other. Until, by the beard of Zeus... This is by far, without question, the happiest I've ever been to find a McDonald's. Ever. You would never have to contest that. I don't see internet. Uh, yeah, I'm on it. Oh. And I'm already looking up the Evie's Hotel, which is right here. So yesterday we were really tired in the car. We weren't going to drive any further because we were probably going to kill each other. And you're coming in through like the side on the airport and kind of winding around the streets that you don't know. So you're like, why? What's going on with Salzburg? And here we are in this beautiful garden, this 11th century fortress in the background, and an incredible palace that we're at. It's freaking freezing. And in other news, we are where are we today? We are at this beautiful palace in Salzburg, Austria. So I'm going to be really quiet right now, but tell me that the accordion guy doesn't make you want to play some Tetris. Close. It's close. I'd say this would be stunningly beautiful in the summer, but here in early September... It's pretty beautiful. It's still beautiful!
We're going to see Mozart's castle. No. Yeah, we have to walk up here to go see Mozart. He's still alive. <laughs> Nobody else is walking this way though. Not really. This way though. Not really. <laughs> so high. We are here. We are trying to figure out how to get up there. And we feel like we've walked uphill quite a ways, but um, that looks quite a bit higher than we currently are. So we're going to continue to walk through paths that look like this and hope for the best. Are you wishing for something? Yes. I wish that I never, can I say it? I wish that I never go back in time and I'm forced to build this castle. <laughs> I'm going to count it this a little bit. Got it. Nailed it. Woo woo! Yes, I never have to build this castle. <laughs> <laughs> Your wish is granted, sir. That's a good one. We walked around the castle for two hours and um, we got you know, an audio tour. We got to see an amazing view of the entire Salzburg city, which means salt in German. Hello. So that was a big moment for us. From the rainiest, saddest night ever where there might have been a little bit of fighting and what are we doing in Salzburg? We just had an awesome, awesome day here. I just got the greatest drone footage that is the whole purpose of like lugging around this huge backpack the whole time and I think we had a great time here and Chappie thinks we had a good time too right buddy oh get it oh my god look through the back window oh I hope you can see that it's so beautiful Austria is so beautiful that I'm upset I'm driving and I'm not staring at it hard enough Austria is so beautiful. I just want to stand in a field and sing. Austria is so beautiful that I bet if you lived here your whole life, you would still think it's beautiful. Austria is so beautiful that I wish we didn't spend as much time in Europe. After an awesome day in Salzburg, we hit the road and continued heading south. Tim saw a sign for a Wasserfall. We figured that meant waterfall in German, so off the road following the signs we went, because that's what a road trip is all about. The Wasserfall is this way. Oh, we're gonna get a little wet. We had to get back on the road to make it down to our Airbnb reservation in Lake Bled, Slovenia, the original plan for when we first left on the trip out of Nuremberg. We're not in Slovenia yet, but we're close. And then based on the shade of green on this map, it looks like the mountains are gonna be even bigger there. So I think it's behind this range. And I'm pretty sure that's a castle that's lit up on that mountain.
Good morning from Lake Bled, Slovenia. Want to see us? What do you think about swimming? Oh yeah, you're gonna swim for sure. Although we're in the mountains, I'm, this is probably some glacial runoff. Gotta do it, one in Rome. It was a quick morning in the lake, but with our desire to cross the Croatian border to seek warmer weather, we stopped for some Slovenian snacks for our drive south. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Look at the pictures. Is it baby food? <laughs> it's not baby food. I What was meant to be a two hour drive ended up being more like five. My fault. It was unlikely at this point we were going to make it all the way down to the touristy town of Split, so we reserved a semi-random Airbnb in the port city of Rijeka. Actually, this is, this is like, this was plan A. I'm gonna murder you. Then we passed plan B, and then plan C was, oh, let's jump in the water. We went so far out of the way, it's like we discovered a new country. Well, we almost went to Italy. <laughs> we are getting ready here for our first border crossing from Slovenia into Croatia. Um, I don't know if there's like toll or anything. Welcome to Croatia. <laughs> Please pay toll. <laughs> All right, I think we should kill the camera. I don't know. If any of the border patrol wants so Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put it in my purse. All right, GoPro. We're not going to have you out during border crossing. So we'll see you in Czechoslovakia. Oh. That was it. Hey. We did it. Welcome to Croatia. Okay. So why did we get stamped twice? For extra points. We're like citizens now. Oh, we did get a Slovenia stamp. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We, the, maybe the first checkpoint was... Exit Slovenia. Bye Slovenia, hello Croatia. Hey, you guys wanna see Croatia? Looks a lot like Slovenia. Well, we can go up and knock, or we can dump our stuff and walk. Oh, yeah, we can go up and knock. Yeah, she said the fifth floor. Oh my, okay. She also said there was an elevator, I think. I drink this whole bottle of wine. <laughs> right now, we're going back down. Um, she's not here right now, which is... Probably my fault because I said that we weren't going to be in until later and then we changed our plans and then we're here now. <laughs> so we're going to take our bags back to the car and then probably sit in the car and drink a bottle of wine. If your father would beat me, he could think we were staying here. <laughs> So, obviously we arrived at the Airbnb a little early, but it was a great excuse to get out and get to know a little bit of the city we knew nothing about.
I'm in charge of doing a quick recap for you. Waterfall. Clifford's Lakes. Cliff, Clifford's Lakes. birthday Kevin um, Tim's out flying the drone that's why I'm sitting here in the car you can probably hear it in the background and um, we're pretty tired we did Plitfitz Lakes today which were stunning waterfalls and now we're driving south which should maybe take about two hours maybe three hours so we're gonna arrive when it's dark we've been driving for quite some time here um, uh, several days coming down on this road trip from Germany. We'll be arriving tonight. We have nowhere to stay yet, so we need to figure out where we're going to stay and then hopefully stay for a few days or so because we are a little bit drained. We'll check back in with you later in Split. is as split as you can get right now. How right. much was it? Uh, two kunas, so 30 cents. Hot deal on a fresh baked donut. I have an epic uh, fountain behind me and we're in a fortress palace city. Right now. So we came up here and we're sitting around Googling images trying to recreate and be silly right now. Yeah, your hair's really good. <laughs> and we're, you know, just finding stupid images online, can't really nail it. Actually walk around the castle and they have a little exhibition room as a dragon and a bunch of pictures from the show. She's really into cosplay. <laughs> over here have Wi-Fi. <laughs> so we need to also use this time to book accommodations for tonight. Because the tourists who were in there last night were still there having breakfast and all their stuff was all over the room. So the host introduced us into the room and she was like, well, you can put your stuff here. And it was like someone else's unmade bed and all of their clothes everywhere. And they were right there eating breakfast. And we were like, so we decided to not leave all of our bags there and just leave them unattended. I hope that the camera can capture 
what it really feels like to be here because you have the wind coming up and a little bit of sense of like I'm going to fall back off of this small cliff and um, what's behind us mountains sheer limestone cliffs that's probably limestone and um, switchback highways and cruise ships in the distance it's Timmy's birthday tomorrow 33 all right so we're sitting on the beach and Allison's hungry, which means we need to go to the grocery store and get some noms to eat. Well, at the store, Allison says, I'm gonna get drunk this afternoon. So she goes over and selects a bottle of Loza from Rajika Lozavaka. It's Dalmata. And she really wants to try to drink as much of this bottle as possible. So here we go. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that is good loza. It tastes like tequila. Oh, it's like smooth. bad tequila. Yeah. God, I'm drinking crappy loza and two dollar olive wine. <laughs> this episode brought to you by Red Chica Loza. Okay, okay, full account of everything that we've done so far. I don't think anything before now matters. We went to Nuremberg. It was rainy. Allison was miserable. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All I'm saying is we, we have two band-aids. We'll buy more band-aids. It has to last for a year. Is this cut yeah. worth it? Yeah. Oh, it's so Let's be honest, this is the best day we've had since we left. No, this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is logo culture. Okay, but seriously, why would you? Okay, come, come swim with us. We're gonna go swim, bye. I didn't expect to spend it in Croatia, but everything's been awesome and I get to play in a play place as long as the seven year olds stay out of my way. And I had an awesome powdered donut, the third best donut I've ever had in my life. So everything is going very well today. And maybe even a little bit of parasailing later.
finally, a day without traveling. We slept here to last night and we're gonna be here again. This is certainly Croatia. Uh, we're just in shoulder season here in September, but it's pretty incredible. So here's a little bit about what our life is like on this Croatian road trip of ours. There's so many things that are so pretty, so we pull over the car and Tim wants to send the drone out to capture all of it. So we are pulled over on the side of the road. Wait, wait, where are we? <laughs> right, so we've been driving all the way from Germany. This road trip starts at episode three, if you haven't seen that already. We have this German rental car, and with our insurance, we're only eligible to drive through certain countries. So we're in Croatia now, but Bosnia and Herzegovina is not on the list. And there's this tiny little strip of coastline that Bosnia has access to, circled here in red. To avoid illegally driving in an Eastern European country, we just pay a few kuna for the car ferry here in Ploče to go across to a Croatian peninsula, circled here in green, to drive to our destination of Dubrovnik. Okay, carry on. It looks just like Croatia. Here's this Bosnian building, and here's a Bosnian car, and these are Bosnian trees. And we only whisper in Bosnian. No, this is Croatia. No, this is still, but we decided that we could really start to say anything. Still driving down to Dubrovnik, and this is incredible. We thought that maybe in the distance we were seeing like a viaduct, or I, what else would it have? I don't know. Just something, mo yeah, like, I don't know. Water's coming off the mountain, so they built a pipe. No. Or, or from far away, it was like just natural stones or something. But uh, it was clearly a walled city at one point. I mean, this is like, looks like a portion of the Great Wall of China. We're a little hungover from Tim's birthday yesterday. And we told the Airbnb guy what time we were going to be there, and we would probably be late. We'll city, let you know what the decision is. The walled is. city of Stan, it was great. I'm glad we didn't just drive by. I'm glad we went and checked it out. I'm sweaty. I didn't even walk. I'm all... I'm it's like, really hot out. Give me next time. parking because it's a stressful situation. What about behind, I know it's a one way, but behind that. Pow, pow, pow. Like a glove. If you, if you want, you may, maybe one, Beer or, or juice, what you want? Alice. Oh, that is so nice! <laughs> if you need anything, I make them in, in, in 10 minutes. Good morning. You want to tell us a little bit about why we're up so early? Well, the idea was to get up super early at 6 o'clock, and it's like 7 30 now. Hey, 
So now we're in the old city oh. and we're doing the city wall tour. We're hitting it early because it's going to get filled up with throngs of turistas just like ourselves. <laughs> so you either need to go now, early in the morning, or at 5.30 at night. But we're not sure if this is early in the morning. <laughs> It's 10 a.m., so it's early for us. <laughs> as you look out onto the old city, you'll notice there's a lot of duller orange tiles as well as very bright orange tiles. Um, the newer orange tiles are actually roofs that were damaged in the Homeland War. And Russia. they had to repurpose them. And that was happening as early as 1994. You see, basketball was first invented in Croatia. Tell us an interesting fact. This is a very small hole. Oh my gosh, I know exactly what this is. Yeah, I do. Are you ready? Sure. Beautiful. the highway and we're going down this cliff to go swim. Hey! Somebody's gonna twist an ankle, somebody's gonna twist an ankle. Got flip flops and flip flops. Chipping nails, cut open a toe, something bad. Something gonna happen. I, is this really the walkway? Did we even bother looking? I think this is it. This is it. Nobody else has floaties on. If you're gonna fall, fall on the floaty. We're surrounded by thorns. If I make it down without bleeding and my raft makes it down, I'm counting that a success. <laughs> Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it. I don't think I'm bleeding. I feel like I am in a couple places, but I don't actually think I am, so that's good. Bye. 
inside Dubrovnik. Off we go on another beautiful day to another beautiful location. Right, so we're on the side of this cliff and we're trying to make a ferry that leaves in 45 minutes and we're maybe like 25 minutes away. But they're stopped traffic because they're cutting down all of the burnt trees here. So this just got exciting. The guy in the front car is getting upset and shouting things at the guys who are working, which is nice because he speaks Croatian. <laughs> the better news is that this is not Tim's fight because this is something that he would go do, but he cannot. This isn't my battle. <laughs> and here we go. So we have 30 minutes before the ferry leaves port. Too fast, too furious. I might have to ramp the car onto the ferry. Move. Car ferry tickets right in here. Thank you so much. So the next crisis is a ticket isn't good for this specific ferry. It's just good for a ferry pass. And so we're in the massive line of cars. And so you don't know if you're going to get on. They're going to tell us this is a fake ticket. It is. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's room for everybody. Ah! I told you, I was never worried. Oh, please. I told you, don't sweat it. I'll get us to the ferry. Just get me behind a wheel. What happened? I'm sorry, you are taking credit for fast driving on this one? That's the storyline we're gonna play. I passed at least one guy. We gave ourselves an hour extra time, and we just I made somebody it. Somebody on mountain roads that looked like they were out of a Mission Impossible or a Fast and Furious movie. Like nobody else could. That doesn't even have a full cylinder in it. That doesn't have a leader displacement. I was still, I was drop shifting and just passing benches. I was taking pink slips on those mountains. I was German there. I'm gonna be Spanish at the next one. See. We have the windows open and the AC on. We're both enjoying both. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, you're doing video. Uh, where are we? Krika? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. This is probably pronounced Krika National Park. Yeah, you wanna go get it. what? Let's go do it. This place for I feel so place. nervous. I hate it. Put it back in. The waterfall is so bad we can't even hear anything. Oh my god, I hate this so much. <laughs> Okay, so I have to turn the camera on for a second. We're just leaving the Kirko waterfalls, which are awesome, and we'll talk about those later. We're just so hungry. And oh, there's a fly in here, of course. We haven't even talked yet about these donor <laughs> kebabs, and they have been amazing just about everywhere we've gone. And we, we talk about them all the time, and we're always looking for them. And so I got mine in a box, which is great and easy to eat in the car. Tim's doing an amazing job navigating that situation and driving. We're going to Zagreb yes. um, on the green one. Yeah, right here. Yeah. We can go there anytime. It's like an hour Okay, hold on. So the epic border crossing right here. 
Transylvanian caves. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was the other guy's whole job was to hand us that brochure. And we're going to caves, but not these caves. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't tell him that. Sure. Well, I guess you're not coming to Slovenia. Although it does show a little bit to our ignorance that we thought we were coming up on a toll booth and it was my fault, the navigator's fault, that forgot that we were kind of going through a border crossing right here. So we had to jump out of the car and go get our passports out of the trunk. But no harm, no foul. We got them. I miss you, Croatia. Bye, Croatia. Bye bye. It's already gone. It's already gone. It was great. Croatia, great. beautiful. My fave. Beautiful. Here we go, and it's rolling. And hey kids, we're here at the caves. We're trying to figure out how what invested. Caves? Well, we don't know how to say them. Let's go. Skarkansky Caves. Skarkansky Caves of Slovenia. The cave blew our minds. Um, obviously, you didn't see any awesome footage. It was really dark in there because it's a cave. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, I guess. We so. took some sneaky footage. We the, the real story is that, yeah, we weren't supposed to be filming. Oh my god, that was so much bigger than I thought. Seriously. That's what she said. We can't <laughs> even do that. <laughs> oh my god, no, seriously. It was insane. It looked like Lord of the Rings, like Goblin King stuff in there. And, yeah. Uh, just massive in scope volume it was super well laid out for the like two years up lighting was so, <laughs> well it was <laughs> no it was great i constantly was reminding myself that it wasn't disney world it, it, it looked plastic yeah it felt like we were in a line to ride like the mine hunts or something because yeah the lighting it was very like moody in there almost yeah. like yeah setting the tone which maybe makes sense but then I guess suppose Disney does a good job because like that was real. <laughs> the, yeah, that was like I'm the glad best twelve year old we spent. That was. I think that was my favorite site so far. This is what it is. Okay, we're close to the Italian border. I'm in Italy. Italia, two hundred and fifty meters. I'm so up in Italy's business right now. Italy. We've been driving for 20 minutes here. We're a little confused, Italy. Because we just came from Croatia and Slovenia. You, and you need to step up your game, Italy. You got a big hike. But seriously, all the infrastructure looks older. All the cars look older. All right then, they go. Um, okay. What were your toilets like? Like normal? Or did you I didn't even look. Up? I just said oh. urinals. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's up with Italy. It, it, there were no like, toilet seats. I saw the squatty potties in Slovenia. Slovenia, but it was like in case that's what you were used to. And then there was right. still like another option. Um, and they were like all nice. This was like kind of like shittier. Uh -huh. And it was like water running down like while you went. That's yeah, interesting, because <laughs> I went up to a urinal and it was flushing the entire time. I was like yeah. getting in front, and then I'm like, am I just not in the right zone? And I even kind of moved back and forth, but it just kept going the whole time. This is going to be great though, like going into the mountains and stuff. Here, I'll flip this around so you guys can see. Alps were 
<laughs> Look at this, and now it's like beautiful. Oh my gosh. So to recap the day real quick, just so that Tim, you and I don't forget, we woke up looking at the Adriatic Sea in a small village in Croatia. We drove into Slovenia and went to the Shakran Caves. However, the car drove by, so you probably can't even hear me pronouncing it wrong. And uh, now we're into Italy. So three countries in one day. Sounds crazy, but it was kind of like we drove from Indianapolis to Milwaukee. Does that sound right? Yeah. Did we drive that far? No, we Did were only in the car for like four or five it's hours. It's a perfect amount of time, yeah. Without having to do Chicago traffic and looking at mountains the whole way. I'm gonna go get comfy. Hey, welcome to number one. This is my driftwood ceiling. Um, on any good tour, they would take you to the bathroom first, so we should do that. Welcome to the Italian marble bathroom. <laughs> Equipped with soap here. Yes, soap is a new amenity for us. Let's see, we also have a European hair dryer. Why is it European? Because we're in Europe. The European towel warmer. Oh, Tim is silently holding the camera and silently pointing at the um, bidet that he is stoked about. <laughs> oh, this is a, oh my gosh. That's the special bidet towel. Yeah. I don't know. And then it's a special bidet soap. And then that's for like those things. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to read how to use a bidet. Hold on, you you wash your butthole and then you pat it dry with a towel. And then does another person use the towel? Because there's two, and then there's one. How do you know when it's time to wash the bidet towels? <laughs> well, we haven't even checked out the best part. This is the real best part I was thinking about. So come with me. We're in Cortina, Italy. And these are the dolmens. Oh, the Plast Museum. I love the Plast Museum. Yes, I can go to the bathroom. I might have to buy a ticket to this museum at this rest stop. They tricked us. We thought it was parking, but they're like, welcome to our museum. We're at a museum on the highway. I think it's a road museum. Let's go learn about this road. All right. Wait, it literally is just bathrooms. Maybe museum means something else in German or in Italian? <laughs> Wait, we're at the Austrian border. I'm not sure what country we're in right now. Italy, Austria, potato, potato. The bathroom stall was literally bigger than our Chicago apartment kitchen. I there like was a in. sliding door to the handicap stall. Yeah, I noticed yeah. too. Um, would, would pee there again, town on a town. Yeah, I would go back to the plus. There was museum. even, did you know there's little flies in urinals? I, there were flies in the future urinals, just a little picture of them. Because guys try to like pee on the fly and it's the perfect spot to hit. Like the insect? Yeah. Why like is the outline of a fly. Because if you see a, 
If you see a fly in a urinal, you're gonna pee on it to like wash it down the drain. But why not like a panda or something? Or a target, I don't know, just nature. Like a bullseye. I, I don't know. I can't tell if you're bullshitting or not. I'm not bullshitting, I'll go in there and take a picture if you don't believe me. Like in the States? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Great, now I have to go in there and take a picture. No, no, let's just go. Okay. I just never heard of that before. We just stopped. <laughs> so we finally got into Germany. Woo! All right. Yeah. <laughs> he knocked it out. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is on the floor. Yeah, he just chewed the sheep really fast. <laughs> That's not something. Well. It's not unusual Kill. that Tim is the only person applauding anything, but... He's a master of his craft. And I don't think there's another way you would want to spend your stopover point on your nine-hour drive. If I had a donor right now, I'd be so happy. Let's go find a donor. Yeah. We found a McDonald's. So that I could go to the bathroom. But the girls' bathroom was closed, and so we... Tim snuck me into the men's bathroom. Oh, and there's a small little Oktoberfest in there. Oh. Right, yes. Hello, we're back in Nuremberg, Germany. We are about to head out to go get our Oktoberfest outfits for tomorrow. No, that looks like it'll fit. Like this one comes with bonus necklace. You need that though. Are we excited? Very. <laughs> the most. So. I wouldn't say exactly that we figured out the train yet, but we found some friends who helped us. They're right here. They're also leading us there. And we're all dressed up and ready to go in our outfits from yesterday. <laughs> and we're just following all these hundreds of people who are walking <laughs> in the same direction. <laughs> Fest. It was just exactly what I expected. It was the United Nations worth of people who all wanted to put on Lederhosen and just go out and get really drunk. I mean, the entire thing is just fixated around the fact that you go sit at a table and drink a ridiculous sized beer. You don't even order a specific kind of beer. You just say, bring me a big ass beer. Well, you can call it a mas, but they just bring you one huge beer. Just drink that, cheers, keep drinking. Okay, I don't know what this thing is called, but it's kind of like a merry-go-round meets a food processor meets the Chicago subway during rush hour meets frat party. Groups of people run out there and you have to stay in the middle for the longest and then these things come out of the sky and they swoop down and they try to knock you off and drunk people are grabbing you, grabbing onto drunk people. Take us on a little tour of our day so far. We're just really lost. No, we're not lost. We just know that we're really far away from everything. We went there. That was cool. Then we wanted to go see the view on the top of this hill. If you look in the distance, 
you can see Miss Allison slowly making her way up Mount Olympia. thing to tell you. Um, our flight is not tomorrow. It's on Thursday. I just like thought tomorrow was October 1st. Like we're just here all day tomorrow. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so we can just we can just mull on that for a little bit but no no rush. Um, That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so here's the deal. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's 42 degrees outside. It's probably 49 degrees inside. This is like Blair Witch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Go to sleep. It's, it's it's so cold, and we're getting up in four hours for uh, this our is flight. This is freaking, it's Germany. We're pretending it's like a third world country. The heat is hot. <laughs> they don't turn it on until October. Love it. So I just got up and turned the oven on and opened the kitchen door. And we're going to go to sleep with the oven on. It's the plan. If I don't live to see tomorrow, but somebody gets this message on the phone, I want you to bury me with my motorcycle. <laughs> Don't anybody ride it. Put it in the ground with me. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll just lay here some more. <laughs> See ya. After surviving the freezing night in Germany and catching our flight on the right day, we flew to Santorini, our first flight since four weeks ago when we quit our jobs in Chicago and flew to Europe on our one year honeymoon around the world. I'm ready for adventure. We had eight nights booked on the island and the plan was to grab a scooter and explore. Very north tip of the island is the city of Ia. Up there we have Fira, and then the island comes looping around. Oh, there's a volcano right there, and we're gonna hike that and go swimming in some hot springs. As we start facing south, that's where the lighthouse is, and then as we continue looking down here, the beach town of Parisa. That we're staying is down here. You can't see our place. We're probably down in there. This is shoulder season here at Parissa Beach. It's busy. You can get good deals on uh, food and beers right now, and really good deals on seats and umbrellas. Did you find an open place to swim? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. 
Hi. Expert hiker here. <laughs> Just trying to understand where we might go today. What do you want to see? It's stinky. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go traverse some terrain. Right. There's where we're staying in Parisa. And we're gonna go up this mountain. Wow, that was a beautiful hike. Sure was amazing. We started right there. True difficulty is not smashing the camera into a rock and avoiding donkey poop. Hashtag first world problem. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's prettier because we walk up here. Wait, you can drive up here. What? Help you. So we woke up early this morning, and then we climbed this mountain. And the beating sun is closed on Monday. You cannot see a wonder of the world on Mondays. So back down the mountain we go. Back down the mountain we go. We're still not sure if that's exactly how you pronounce it, but we're really excited to be here. And you know who else is excited to be here? The four brides that we've seen so far. In five minutes. In five come. minutes. We just walked in. It's gonna be tough. It's hard enough in front of the camera, much less all these tours. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know you. We don't know you. We'll remember this forever. What we do here is go back, 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 back. When you want to get off the beaten path, this is a good sign. We were out in search of a not-so-secret cliff jumping spot. All we knew was go down a path and swim out to an island. Easy enough. The problem was carrying the drone, so we wrapped it in garbage bags and Tim swam with it on his head. Oh, so worth it. playing with and practicing flying the drone in Santorini. Our footage definitely improves day by day as the trip goes on. I still edit out a lot of crap though. Like this, what is this? Tim, get me running towards the edge for my Instagram. <laughs> this is such a weird shot. Ah, this is what I meant. Hashtag follow us on Instagram. Hashtag subscribe. Hashtag, oh my God, shut up. Allison's so excited to go swimming in the hot springs. Why? Because she needs to pee in the water really bad. No. Yeah, she does. No, because it's hot. But mostly the first thing I said. And a forehead pain. <laughs> All the tourists going over to the dirty water. 
What'd you see? A dog. And? Play. <laughs> you saw goats? Goats on a cliff. Garbage. Garbage. Garbage house. All those things are fine. I just, I felt cold the whole time. I wouldn't recommend to a friend. Welcome to the volcano. It's a National Geological Park of Ni Kameni. It's an unparalleled testament. It's a site of major scientific interest and protected national monuments. It's a cultural heritage located in the west of Santorini Island. It's still a site of the exceptional natural beauty. Let's go see some beauty. to walk up a lot of things. All the good stuff is always at the top. <laughs> There's never anything interesting to see right by where you are. There's probably one best thing I've brought on the trip. It's probably this. The boots are made for walking, baby. This is only the first part of the wonder. There's more wonders to see. What happens at eight? Near the peak of the Mikri Kameni Dome, the oldest part of Mia Kameni, which was created in 1570. And then there was lava, and we continue to Site B. 16 dinosaurs lived here for 40 years. Allison just explored a volcano, swam in hot springs. How are you going to get back to Thera today? Someone's to take some donkeys up the hill. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> Throw that leg over, baby. Yeah! You're doing great, Finn. Oh. Well, <laughs> My donkey's sweet. He knows the way. I think they just know. He's gonna yell at them and they go. Oh well, I'm No donkey, just. Oh my god. Good boy. <laughs> Oh wow, you are a powerhouse. Oh god, oh, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, come on. Well done, donkeys. No, oh boy, oh my god. Oh my knee is in your donkey's butt. <laughs> an amazing eight days in Santorini. But after a while, we felt something urging us to leave. We had to check out of the hotel in the morning, but our ferry to Athens didn't depart until 11 p.m. So I guess we did what anyone would do in that situation. We spent the day day drinking on the beach with all of our luggage and then booked a wine tasting big enough for six people. Allison, what are you doing? Getting ready for dinner on the beach. Why? <laughs> because we're homeless. You know, all we need is that little chain shack. How long have you been out here? Six years. I look around and since it's the, what do get the? 18 glasses of the wine. 18 glasses? What I see is 18 full glasses. We'll see where we're at. In. Wow, what a clean finish.
back down Greek Ferries. Once you board the ship, then you go to the information desk in the middle of the ship to get your handy dandy room key. Then you meet a nice little bellhop to guide you to your room who doesn't carry your bags, but he leads you there and then opens your room. And then you and your husband have two nice king beds to share for the evening. But we, I think we do have our own bathroom, unless someone else is in here. I think it's like 10 p.m. and we arrive at 7 a.m. Oh my god. Cruising in the Aegean. Or the Mediterranean. Got ready on a beach today. Take a lot of water today. Okay. Now I'm on a boat. Okay. Now okay. I'm on a boat. Okay. Now I'm on a boat. Now Bye everybody. Bye. How's Athens been so far? Uh, we've been here for a few days and we've got to come up here because we have a really cozy couch and a really awesome throw blanket. We have done a ton of booking for Dubai, for Chocolate Mountain Island in the Philippines. We're going to Cebu. And we're going to Cyprus tomorrow. It ended up raining yesterday, which we were kind of stoked about because that made us not feel guilty about sitting inside. Definitely going to rain today. Oh, by the way, we're also going to see the Acropolis. I got the lightning on chat. You're gonna get covered in so much water in a minute. So now we take Matt. Are you gonna get Matt? I'm wrapping it up. It's wrapped in my shirt. Just go slow. Are you okay? Your mascara looks like you're a 15 year old girl at like a uh, high school dance and your boyfriend broke up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You know why it's raining. You angered Zeus. I hope so. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't think all those ruins were that interesting. Are we going to the parking lot? I don't know where to go. Okay. I'm sorry Zeus. I mean, we expected rain, but hail. Hail was a nice surprise. What's going on today? We are leaving Athens! So we're going to Cyprus right now. It's going to be warm. And then we're going to Poland. Uh, we're going to go see my cousin Megan. And we're hanging out with her this weekend, actually. And then from Big Ghost, Poland, we're flying via Frankfurt and Istanbul to Dubai. But with our massive layover in Istanbul, we're thinking that we're going to be able to go see the city a little bit. Then we're gonna go to Dubai for like a week, which is gonna be just insane. And then we're gonna go meet up with some friends in the Philippines. So, I mean, that's all within a month. All right, let's get this show on the road. Okay, this is the classy part of our travels. We're here at Tomb of the Kings in Paphos, Cyprus. We both learned it was a country about two weeks ago when we found a cheap Ryanair flight here. We recognize now that Cyprus is basically the Cancun for British tourists, so if you are from England and watching this, you'll probably be laughing at the fact that us Americans didn't know about Cyprus, but I bet if you're American and watching this, you might have thought that maybe Cyprus was one of the Greek islands or I've never heard of it. We are in Paphos at the Tomb of the Kings. We're not really sure which kings. We're Tomb Raiders right now. Wow, this got real big real quick. This is sweet. <gasps> oh, 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 oh gosh. <laughs> The craziest part is that we're underground, which is really cool. 
Get in, get in that tomb. No, you go. Dude, it's so dark, I can't even see on the camera. Oh my god, you just disappeared. You're just down there to scare me, I know it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> hey, they do a lot of running to do that. <laughs> Welcome to Party Boat, where all your dreams come true. Check out where we get to hang out for the day. There's a deck below us that everyone is at, and we're up here in this awesome spot, and no one's here, so... There's something we don't know. So this is the funniest thing. We have the entire top deck to ourselves on this yacht, which is ridiculous. Let's go get drinks. Shannon. 80% of the people on this boat are trying not to vomit uh, again because I say 60% of the people on this ship have, <laughs> have vomited. Uh, we're in quite rough seas, which Shannon and I have decided is better just to keep drinking alcohol. This country in Europe. <laughs> My favorite part of Poland. <laughs> time to leave sunny Cyprus. We just had the weekend left after almost two months in Europe before we started to head east through Istanbul, Dubai, and on to the Philippines. Hi. Hey. I'm in Poland right now. You sure are. I'm staying at the Coca-Cola building. Official name. The guy isn't gonna let us in for half an hour, so. Right now we're gonna scrounge around for food. Easy enough. Let's go do it. What's happening today? Went to the grocery store as habit. Grabbed a bunch of stuff. All this good stuff. Did we do this? Our view couldn't be any better. Corner apartment. In the center of the city. I'm really excited to go see Megan. I think it'll be nice to see family after traveling for oh this weekend is seven weeks. It's going quick. Wow. It's gonna take a five hour awesome bus ride that's gonna be like our best mode of transportation yet. Mm -hmm. For five dollars and fifty cents a person travel across the, the country. <laughs> and right now we have just over an hour until the bus leaves. So we're gonna go see as much of Warsaw as possible. In this one hour. Okay, so my cousin Megan just finished high school in Michigan. She won a scholarship through her Rotary Club to be part of an exchange student program. And how crazy is this? Students rank the top five countries they'd like to study in, but then only find out their destination a month before leaving for the whole year. So Megan was placed in Bidgosh. Her host family was nice enough to invite us for the whole weekend, and we were so excited to get a taste of home. Tourism is not the strongest industry in Bidgosh, so Megan hired herself to play the role of tour guide. Are we hot? We're hot. This here, the man fishing over the water back to you in Bidgosh, Poland. It represents um, the hard work and struggles of the artists during the 18th century. My favorite part of Poland <laughs> has been learning the culture and the language and all the nice people. This round part of the building is where Napoleon 
kept some of his weaponry. Only his bomber parts, to be exact. Yeah. He came to Poland? Yeah. When? Give me a century. When did Napoleon come to Poland? Five. Five. Here, here's the plaque. Oh, she just read it on the plaque. Oh. Here, tell us a new fact. That's too long. I can't <laughs> read all that. Yeah. Um, it's like a lady, and if you touch the butt, it's like 10 years of good luck or something. <laughs> okay, it's video. <laughs> Do you want a picture? <laughs> good luck, good luck for everyone. <laughs> oh my god, a fountain. This is great, this is great. Right, 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 right. Now tell us. This commemorates Noah's Ark. <laughs> you know, Noah, <laughs> you know, the Ark. Ducks on date. They're not everyone's. <laughs> That's the worst date ever. <laughs> oh, oh, here's our friends. There they go. The last stop on Megan's tour was actually the number one TripAdvisor thing to do in Bidgosh, the Soap Museum. Please follow me. And first of all, you will make your own soap, and then you will visit our Ooh. museum with your guides. All right. Oh, look at it! Take yes. a seat. Take a seat. And I will tell you and explain everything. Are we the only people in this tour? Uh, in English, yes, because in English we start Polish. Oh, great. Oh. Well, thank you. that Megan knows people down here. Otherwise, this is so random. I didn't believe us when we were like, we're gonna come visit you. Yeah, like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're on your way. Remember when Tim became fluent in Polish in 48 hours? <laughs> Remember when Tim knew more about Bidgosh than I did after living here for two months? how to pronounce it, yeah. Except he says, Bidgosh. 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 This is your little house. That's good. We were blown away by the overwhelming hospitality of Megan's host family. After two months on the road, it was incredible to go to a place that felt like a taste of home. If you're watching, we can't thank you enough for welcoming a couple strangers into your home and making us feel like family for the weekend. Okay. Okay, good luck. Okay, how do you say good luck in Polish? Easy, easy, easy. We're from down here. What? How'd you do that so easily? <laughs> Just ruin it, Meg. You know it. Goodbye to Megan in the car here as we pull into the airport. Bye bye. Bye bye. We're gonna go uh, stop in Istanbul real quick on the way to Dubai. You go uh, hiking to check. Great. Great. Perfect. All right. All right. Ready. Break. Break. <laughs> start till 8 30 a.m. We still managed to show up too late to go on the free tour. Yeah, so there were some high emotions, tensions. Yeah. There was a little bit of crying. There was a little bit of crying since we missed the free tour that we thought was going to be sweet. But then we remembered 
buses and trains are really easy, so we just took the train from the airport here for like $4, and we're gonna do everything on our schedule and not have to worry about getting bussed around with a bunch of other tourists. Hey, you can go in over there in the visitor's entrance. Oh. oh no, they don't have the service right now. So my review of that, my first mosque ever, was that it's really big and so. It's pretty incredible because all of the tiers, it looks like from the outside, like those are different like floors of the building, but it's all just open. But it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You want to try? Yes. Oh, wow. We love it. Let's do a few pistachio and a few pomegranate. How are those made? How, how do you make? I make this one and uh, big cups. Uh -huh. We have a mix of onion and not onion. It's a mix of Oh, okay. Mm. And I cut it into pieces. Uh, and after. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. It's finished. Nice. How much was it? Wait, 12? Yeah, 12. That's so good. And it's not like so sweet like a candy. Oh, he likes he likes it when the powdered sugar is just sprinkled. <laughs> just okay. a little way. Okay. I'm just taking this moment to reflect on all my space around me. Take a look over there. Do you know what that is over there? A river? Yeah. Uh, what happens after the river? Asia. We're looking at Asia. Hold on. Yeah. Like a 
the continents go. <laughs> but we're not. We're gonna get on a plane to go to Asia because we don't really have the time to go across the river. Yeah, we are running short on time. Airport, Istanbul. We went out there. We did it for a day. I'd say we're a little burnt out. Didn't sleep too much. Soaked up the culture. And now we just can't wait to get on that plane, kick the tires, light the fires, and out to Dubai. Did I hit all the burning tracks? You didn't make the Istanbul not Constantinople joke. See you in Dubai. So today started in the Dubai heat. It's 100 and apparently the water is 88 degrees and I cannot wait to go feel it. We are at the fish market in Dubai, kind of old Dubai, I guess. We took a little boat across the river. Uh, it's awesome here. I'm the only female here. Um, I'm the only blonde human here. Holy crap, what are those? This is our third time at Robbie's. Um, the food here is ridiculous. It's, I do know I like this food. This is local flavor. What kind of food is it? We've tried different things every night and it's always constantly amazing. It's kind of like we discovered a new branch of Mexican food because it's like really spicy and flavorful. <laughs> it makes my nose sweat and it's, yeah. And we've been eating plain food in Europe and Germany and Poland and, and this is amazing. It's like finding out there, you didn't know a burrito existed and then you found out the burrito existed. I got stuck. I couldn't see what happened to you. Oh. But I couldn't have done it without this. I oh, really? <laughs> Ooh, sexy shot. Se well, not as sexy. This is sexy. This is how you do in the Oh, 
Hmm. There's good desert safaris, and there's bad desert safaris, according to TripAdvisor. Sometimes the guys just won't pick you up, so make sure you <laughs> Which is nice. Really nice. So yeah, it wouldn't hurt to go down the stairs. So clearly our driver showed up an hour late. We have six more people to pick up, and he showed up without gas. There's our hotel right there, right over there. <laughs> but it's gonna be dark by the time we're there, and then I'm not gonna be able to take any pictures of this. Somebody wasn't feeling so good. It was like, and there's also, it's not a roller coaster. Like, no, it's just a guy driving. It's yeah, it's not that safe. Well, you can't see us if you're recording. That's because it's the night time. We're here at night, you can't really take pictures, which, you know, shouldn't be the only point, but like, who wants to go ride a camel in the dark? Hey, do you want to go sandboard? I don't know how I could, it's pitch black. Oh yeah, what about sandboarding? Shove it up my ass, I don't know. We're basically here in kind of what now feels like an all-inclusive Hawaiian resort. Except it's going to be awkward. Well, camera, you can't see, but there's two camels right here. Oh wait. There's a little bit of light from a car. This is living out to be exactly the TripAdvisor review I saw when I was like, this is bullshit. Yes. Hey, you have a ride yeah. Okay, do we get on together? Yeah, do get on. Okay. No way, it's that strong? <laughs> well. Give me camera and We are now riding a camel. You can't tell, maybe we're just on a couch. <laughs> We have turned around already. We've, we've headed back to camp. Regardless, this is an awesome camel. Yeah. I'm very impressed by the squat power of this camp. Yeah, no kidding. Seriously. Right. That was a wonderful camel ride. We can actually tell how long it is. I'm a girl, man. If I was a guy in the front with what just happened, well, that was my favorite camel ride yet. Yeah. 